MySQL, loading data into a table. After creating your table, you need to populate it. The load data and insert statements are useful for this. Suppose that your pet records can be described as shown here. Observe that MySQL expects dates in the year, month, and day format. This may differ from what you are used to. So here we have an example. We have this table with six columns, name, owner, species, sex, birth, and death. And then we have some, some rows here, the name of these uh, animals. So we have Laffy, the owner is Harold, the species is a cat, the sex is female, this is the date of birth. Uh, we have all this stuff. We have, for example, uh, Bowser, owner is Diane, his species is a dog, is a male, this is the birth of date, and this is when the dog passed away, this is the date. So, because you are beginning with an empty table, an easy way to populate it is to create a text file containing a row for each of your animals, then load the contents of the file into the table with a single statement. You could create a text file, a pet.txt, containing one record per line with values separated by tabs and given and the order in which the columns were listed in the create table statement for missing values such as unknown sexes or death dates for animals that are still living you can use null values to represent these in your text file use the backslash uppercase letter m backslash capital m for example the record for whistler the bear would look like this where the white spaces between values is a single tab character so they're talking about this one so this whistler uh, animal and the sex is undefined here so you type in upper uh, backslash and then uppercase letters so and again this is still leaving and we would for the the death we would put backslash capital m to load the text file so we have in lowercase pet.txt into the pet table and then use this statement so in my sql we would we would type in, in uppercase letters load data local m file and then inside single quotes we would type in the the path we would type in the path where you have the file slash and then the file after that we would type in, in capital letters into table and then we're choosing the pet table so we're gonna we're gonna see this example right now and we are gonna go into the i'm gonna go into the terminal into the windows powershell terminal and i'm gonna mysql space u root hyphen p like that it's gonna prompt me for my password so i'm gonna enter this password here okay it let me in now i'm gonna use and in the previous video we can we can type in where is it okay we can type in show show tables let me see and okay i didn't select any database so let me see what was the name of the database that we created it was me okay menagerie so we're gonna use okay like this use and then it's gonna be menagerie like that so it has changed and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show tables okay so we have the pet table so we are okay so we are in the pet table so right now what we, what what we need to do is we need to create we need to create this this files for example i'm just gonna copy it like real quick and I'm gonna go into let me see let's close this one and I'm gonna go into my program GS folder and I'm gonna right click new and it's gonna be text document okay yeah that is txt and I'm just gonna name it pet uh, yeah I'm just gonna name it or, or pets uh, animals yeah. animals animals.txt so I'm gonna open it and I'm just gonna paste it like this I'm gonna make it a little bigger and let me see what do we have here so let's move this one a little bit like I'm using the 
the tabs so I'm using the tabs so move it a little bigger move it to the to the right so you can do this uh, patiently so let me see so in this column we have the name in this other column we have the honor we have the species so let's just uh yeah let's this move it like that so uh like this okay so let's move it to the okay and then what else do we have here so yeah that's fine so let's move this one death here okay so we have one two three four five six columns so mm, maybe move this one too okay so the sixth uh, we have female male female male and we can move this one a little bit here and here as the as the manual says you just type the back is the back and slash and then the capital M and we can grab this back and slash capital N and just I don't know paste it here 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 for everything that is empty so let's see what happens let's just let like us and then save it so we have we have six columns so we have the name column owner species sex birth and date and and the empty spaces i just fill it out with a um, backslash capital m so i save it and now it's enamels.txt so this is the name of my file so we have that and um, this is the path so the path i'm just gonna copy it it's gonna be in my dc and then it's gonna be in program js folder so what I'm gonna do right now is we are gonna we are gonna go into the we are gonna load this file this that txt file into the load data local in okay so I'm gonna go below let me see and I'm gonna I'm just gonna type it in so it's gonna be load data load data local and file like this and then we're gonna have the path and open and close single quotes and I'm gonna type in into into table and the table is gonna be pet like this and then we're gonna end up with a semicolon and now here inside of the single quotes I'm gonna type in my path and my path is uh, disk C and colon and then this one has to be forward slash so we're gonna change it to forward slash and then we're gonna put another forward slash slash and finally the name animals.txt okay it's gonna be anam, animals the txt so this is the name this is the path and then slash animals.txt and remember it has to be forward slash so let me see what else we need to do Lo okay load data local and file single quotes into table pet so animals okay so now I'm gonna press enter okay load data local and file request rejected due to restrictions on access okay so let me see if we go into let me see okay okay yeah we did that okay if the statement fails it is likely that your mysql installation does not have local file capability enabled by default so you can see section uh, security considerations for load data local for information on how to change it so we can check out this one and yeah so what we need to do right now is we need to go into my sql and right now we are gonna let me see we are gonna type in the I want we need to type it in the show global variables and this local this local m file so I have it already here let me see mm, local m file okay it's here so we need to have this double hyphen local hyphen m file and we need to set it to one so this is the way that it's gonna grant me the the axis so what we are gonna do right now is we are gonna set the global okay so we're gonna go here into the terminal and we're gonna type in set global set global and we're gonna type in local it's gonna be local 
underscore is going to be in in file and we are going to set it to one like this and then we're going to press uh, semicolon set look okay set local set global and lowercase local underscore and file and set equal to one okay that's fine so now what we are going to do is i want to make sure so we're going to show show global variables so it's going to be like this show global be okay variables show global variables uh, like and then inside single quotes we're gonna type in local underscore m file so it's gonna be local underscore m file and that single quotes i mean yeah and we close in the single quotes and then we end up with a semicolon okay so as you can see variable name value in the local underscore and file is set on so that's fine so that's the first step and here for my sql client local data loading capability is determined by the default compiled into the my sql client library to disable or enable it explicitly use the double hyphen local hyphen in file set to zero or set to one set to zero if you want to turn it off and set to one if you want to enable it or turn it on so what we are gonna do right now is we are gonna we are gonna quit we're gonna quit this okay like this and we're gonna start the server game and okay so we're gonna do my SQL and this time we're gonna do where pretty much we can do pretty much like this we can copy or just type it in so it's gonna be my SQL space hyphen double hyphen local hyphen and and file and it's gonna be set to one um, like this and it's gonna be set to one um, and now we're gonna just as we we previously did it hyphen u and then root and then hyphen p and it's gonna prompt you for your password again so we're typing the password okay and let me in and let me see let me see okay so we need to uh we need to use the that table so it's gonna be mena manage manager use manager okay now it's gonna be show table so okay semicolon okay so i have the pet uh table let me see if i can just okay so i'm just pressing this the upper arrow so um, i don't have to type it all in so we have load data this is let me see where it was it was this one okay so this is the example this one so what i'm doing right now is load data local and file so okay here Log, uh, load data local and file and then in single quotes is going to be my path that is going to be this c colon forward slash program js forward slash enamors.txt so that is the name of my file and then in capital letters it's going to be into table and then the table name that is going to be pet so let's see if this time works so we're going to press enter and it works so yeah that is the the quick fix that you have to do I've been noticed that MySQL having is having some problems with that, but yeah, what you need to do is first of all you need to okay what is it first of all you need to okay so you need to go into the the security there is where they send you the they send you here I'm sorry okay section 6.1.6 security considerations for load data local so we can read that later on but first of all what you need to do is you need to set the global set global local underscore and file set to one so let me see let me see if uh, if it show it for us okay no it doesn't show it here but if you go below on the server side we need to the local m file this we need to set it to one so let me see if they have an example here mm, 
Mm, no, they don't have it here. But what you need to do is set global local underscore file to one. That is that. And then pretty much you need to quit the 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 terminal and type and um, pretty much log in again mysql and this time you're gonna use this the mysql double hyphen local hyphen and file equal to one and then you just need to type in your space hyphen space hyphen u root i mean a space hyphen u space root and then a space p that is gonna prompt you for your password and then you're good to go so right now we're gonna see if this is if this works so we're gonna use the select all let me see we're gonna do the select uh, so we're gonna go into the terminal and we're gonna type in select statement we're gonna use the asterisk so select all and we're gonna select all from the stable pet so oh again I forgot the the semicolon so let's try it out and it works so